everyone. Hope you guys had a good week. This week was the first week of school for me. And so in this video, I'm just going to show you what my school supplies are. And this is basically an unboxing edition. So the box is already open. And I was just using that notebook over there just for a placeholder. But no worries. So let's see, what shall we start with? Let's do this box. Now, at a first glance, this looks like a moisturizing bath bar, but it is not. There is not a bath bar in here. It is a box that has flashcards. And you might remember that I probably mentioned that I made flashcards and I've been reviewing flashcards. If I didn't say that, then, um, well, now you know. <laughs> So yeah, these are my deck of flashcards to help me prepare for my exam. And so this is just like a flashcard box holder. It's kind of cute. Okay, next is, or are, sorry, are my AirPods. And they're just sitting there charging. And usually I use this for class or just listening to music in general. Next is my pencil case. And we can go through briefly what's inside. This is a Pentel Click Eraser. I really like this because you just, you're just able to retract the eraser in and also take the eraser out. And it's like a pen. Click, click pen click eraser and yeah I highly recommend using it it's really slick and it kind of fits really nice with a mechanical pencil okay what else this is an eraser from Muji highlighter and a bunch of Muji writing utensils. So this is a pencil that I got like last year, I think. It fits 0.5 millimeter lead. It's very, very useful. It has a nice like rubber grip to it and you're able to write pretty efficiently and I like it also because it just, it looks like a pen, sort of, with the little tab attachment here. These are double-sided markers with two different colors on each side, two different shades. They're not break apart a bowl, breakable, they're not breakable from the middle, so don't do that or else you'll break it. You can just take the, you can just go like twist the edges off and you get your color. And I have, oops, there goes one, that's okay, we'll pick it up later. There are, other than the one that fell down in there, let's try to get that out. So these are the colors here, you got green, pink, and then like a, another hot pink, purple, blue, what else is there, uh, a yellow and a green, and a red and a blue. So that came in the pack, and let's see, there are two, four, six, seven, I believe there's eight, oh, there it is, the eighth one is um, black and gray, so that's your little rainbow of colors right there. They came in a like a plastic cap jar and you're able just to oh here's another one my bad I can't count today so this like came in a jar little plastic jar and you're just able to pick out which colors you want of course looking in from top down you can't really see what the other side is so I think it's better just to like have it in a pencil case 
and you kind of just put it in there and lay out to lay them out to see what color you want all right let's see is there anything else okay so other than like i said other than the highlighters i also have other muji pens they're made in japan these are 0.5 gel pens okay not this one this one is something else let's see i currently have what's that five colors i think i'm supposed to have six i'm supposed to have six colors for some reason i think i probably misplaced one of them so there are only five here now so you have orange red blue black and like a navy blue and they look like this from the side and the cool thing about these gel pens is that you can buy the the gel pen the gel cart pen cartridge separately from muji and you can just twist the i believe you can just i think it, you twist the ends off and you can replace them if i'm not mistaken yeah and so you don't have to always get a new pen you can just always get a new cartridge okay moving on this is another marker it's thin it really um it writes really nice and slick as well kind of just found this somewhere and i decided to use it this is a tombow pen it's also made in japan it's actually a calligraphy pen it says right here and i use this a lot in my bullet journal and basically it's there is a bh which means it's you know a um harder i guess a more thin marker let's see if i can pull it out let's see how it's thinner then like the bs i used to have the bs i think i might have mis misplaced that by accident as well but if i find it i shall show you the difference between a bh and a bs i think s means might mean soft and the felt tip is slightly thicker so it gives off a thicker look when you write with it and usually i just use this to outline my borders or write down other tasks or emphasize certain things i need to do with this pen it's a nice tip yeah for those of you that can read um characters Japanese or um, like Chinese characters, feel free to do so. Um, yep. Great. Okay, and then here's like your, you know, your typical big mechanical pencil. This inputs 0 0.7 millimeter lead. It is also a B number two pencil, so it's really helpful for scantrons or taking standardized tests but you know of course we don't do that now so no need to worry about that okay great so i'm gonna put these back in and we can move on to the next item now this is something i got recently i think for my birthday just this past uh year in 2020 this is a wakeham and tulos tablet it is basically a drawing tablet now i don't really draw but um what i use this for is for writing notes on OneNote. so when i go on OneNote, like microsoft OneNote, i use the drawing feature and i'm able to just basically write on the tablet using the pen to write on the tablet and be able to do math problems like this comes in handy when uh, let's say i want to tutor a friend and study with them for mathematics and i want to be able to draw on the screen without using 
you know, the zoom draw feature with my mouse. I can just plug in my Wacom tablet into my laptop with the USB and I can just write and I can show them how to do math problems. So I don't really study with this anymore because it's pretty straining for my eyes to just like stare at the computer and watch what I write. But maybe if I decide to write with it on my, um, with my tablet and doing my vlog videos, I will definitely show you guys. Okay. Almost done. So this is my calculator. You guys already seen it before. Yep. And this, this is the new item of this month, pretty much. So this is my new phone case. Right now I'm using my phone to record, so you can't really see what it looks like on my phone, but I promise you it is very sleek and I can take it out to show you. And it protects really well. I put I purposely put it back in the package just to show you guys what the packaging looks like. So it looks so it's just you take it out of this. Okay. So it's two layered with the like soft plastic here. And it's like kind of like rubbery, bendable. But then you also have this thick plastic here so the brand here oh where's the brand the brand here there you go the brand here is called Spigen it's a really well-known brand and right here it also says Neo Hybrid which is kind of cool because I think that it's also just talking about how these two cases this how this case has like a two two layered protection the buttons feel really well and they're kind of like protected and like in this like ridge area yeah i really like this case highly recommend it and like it says in the case maybe you guys in case you guys uh, missed it it's also compatible with the iphone se and the 7 in case you have an iphone se or an iphone 8 or iphone 7 um definitely check this case out there are other colors this is i believe it's called pale dogwood i don't know why it's called this but you know just look for the pink case and you'll find it there it was also a burgundy color case which i was also interested in but i thought you know i'll just go with the pink since it's more of my vibe there's also black and I think there's also silver. There's like, you know, eight, I think five or eight other colors on Amazon. Just go check it out on Amazon. I can also put the link in the description box below for you guys. So yeah, that's that. Next but not least, there is, oh, there's one more also in my textbook. There's my blood journal. This is what I was talking about before with using my Tombow pen. This probably was the soft one, or it could have been the hard one, I'm not sure, but I think when I wrote it for this, these two lines, or these three lines here, it says from 2020 to August 2021, this was for the, or using the Tombow um, BH pen. And, you know, I like Star Wars a lot, and so this is a quote from... Rogue One, rebellions are built on hope, um, said by Jin Erso. Yeah, she's just a great character, and I'm just really glad we all got to meet her in Rogue One. Yoda, do or do not, there is no try. This little guy was from episode 8 of the Star Wars series, or um, the trilogies, excuse me. <laughs> uh, and this is... You know the symbol of the the rebellion or the resistance 
Okay, so I'm not going to show you everything, but this is September, and then I forgot to continue writing throughout September, November, December, and then January came along. Let me get there for you guys. And so I just started this week, January. January to-do list, and this is this week's to-do list. Saturday I have class in, in the morning and on Mondays and Wednesdays I have this 3.20 to 4.40 math class. Yep, so that's my bullet journal. Basically my planner. Alright, next finally is my textbook for my math class. It's called Mathematical Statistics with Applications, or I guess in this case it's John E. Franz, Franz Mathematical Statistics with Applications, the 8th edition, and it is by Miller, M. Miller. Yeah, and I currently am waiting for my accounting textbook, so that's something that I will need to wait on. Um, what else? Um, of course there's like other binders and other things that I will need to have and you guys will definitely see that in the upcoming study vlogs and whatnot so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this first um, first unboxing video something to look forward to would be I am getting a moleskin journal from a friend shout out to Joanne and uh, when that comes in the mail, I will definitely do an unboxing for that. So definitely come check that out. And yeah, thank you for watching this unboxing video. And I will, oops, if I can close this, see you next time.